Hello Jeep Perverts, it's Green Dots 319. How are we all doing? Right, have we got a video for you today? What we're going to look at then is whether this carb here, which is the one I've just rebuilt in the videos above you, using all original components and without using a master rebuild kit, runs as well as his brother here, which is the one I've had fitted to this Jeep running. And this one was rebuilt using the Carter Master Rebuild Kit. So all new jets, all new bits and bobs like that. Original carb, original carb. But this one, of course, we've checked and rebuilt, and we're gonna see if there's any difference between running this guy and running this guy. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I'm got, you know, I've got an idea about it, but um, we're gonna find out today, okay? So let's have a closer look at this thing and see what uh, we're actually dealing with, and then let's get it primed up and started and see what happens. Hopefully it's gonna run, but we're gonna find out. Okay, peeps, here it is all fitted in there. I think you'll agree, this one's looking pretty spanky. I'm, I'm really pleased with it, actually. This one was supposed to be built to look sort of original use. I didn't want to take it back to sort of factory perfect look. So, you know, things are a bit rough and ready on it, which is what I like, because it looks really good, even on this Jeep, which is only 350 miles old. You know, it sort of looks really nice in there already. Got things like the old data tag, like you see here, still on it, you know, it's all ripped off and stuff like that. So it's got this cool sort of used patina to it, which I really like, but I'm hoping it's gonna operate like new, okay? So the first thing we've got to do then, we'll put on our Yankee uh, little uh, pipe here, because I don't want to use my normal metal pipe in there, because I keep on taking it on and off and bending it and things like that. So we'll just use this one at the moment, um, but let's prime it up then. So let's do the priming arm down here. Right, it's all gone up there, perfect. Right, the good thing about the WO is it's got an accelerator pump so we can just squirt some raw fuel straight down there. So let's give it a squirt, let's see what happens then for the first, we'll try and listen out for that squirting noise inside it, all right? Yeah, there it was. So, sounds like our accelerator pump is working, which is good. That was one of the things we spent a lot of time working on there was getting that accelerator pump, which is living inside this bowl operating correctly. Sounds pretty good. Right then, touch of choke. It's not too cold, let's just give it a little bit of choke and then just a little bit of hand throttle. Let's see what we can get out of this beast and then a bit of a spray. Right then, here we go. Let's try the rebuilt WO using the original parts. Let's see what happens here, okay? If I turn on the ignition, there we go, right. That's it, fighting. Bit more choke, too much choke. There we go. Oh, that's a good fast idle. Let's knock it down just a touch. Too much choke. There you go, that's it. You've got to balance the choke, it's not easy. Yes, look at that. Still got a fast idle going, no temperature showing yet. Good oil pressure, just heating up. Right, let's try and back off some of this choke then and see how she behaves. Yeah, still, still needs to touch the choke, you can hear the uh, it's just a touch rich, so it's losing a bit of uh, the richness there. But I reckon if we push it in, yeah, it's fine. Let's push in the uh, throttle all the way then. <laughs> what a beast, what a carb. So it's not, yeah, it's not warm yet still. Jeez. <laughs> That is a carb. I don't know, this seems, this one might be better than my other one. Okay, Jeep peeps, we're out in the outdoors, just uh, taking it just down the road so we can test it out then. You can probably hear, it's got a nice smooth, fast idle. It's, it's still a bit fast, it'll just need adjusting a little bit, but so far so good. So let's just play with it and see how this new WO, all original components in it, just rebuilt, you know, checked and things like that. Let's see how it behaves then. So I think it's gonna be all right. I mean, if, <laughs> if that's anything to be, go on. Jeez, right, you ready? Okay, let's have a go. Right, let's do some green dot speed. Woo! 
<laughs> Whoa, the hat. We've lost the hat. Oh no, the road's closed. Oh dear. Right. First things, another loss of hat. That's never a good sign. Or perhaps it is a good sign. I mean, this carb is as keen as anything. I'm loving it. I think this one is better than the one I've got on there. You know, it'll just be the accelerator pump. Because this pump and the leather in it is um, already used and we checked it, it hasn't been sitting around in a box for 50 years or something like that. It seems to be pumping really well. So maybe I just need to go and tweak the one I've got on the other carb. But right, hat recovery, first things first. I think we'll give up with a hat. Okay, we've got a field cap on. This shouldn't come off this time. I mean, that's pretty impressive. I'm, I'm really impressed with this carburetor already. This is a good one. Right, there's more people coming here. Let's get out of the way for them. Really, it doesn't seem, other than the fast idle being a bit fast, that we need any adjustment to it. Right, let's hoon it around. <laughs> Over some bumpy bits. Whoa! -hey. Whoa! Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, this carb is great. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's just straight out of the box. Amazing. Awesome. Right, let's go and have a, let's surmise all this then. Okay, peeps, what's the take home from this there? Right, may have got slightly carried away, but you know, I was enjoying that. This is, uh, this is cool. To have built a carburetor like this out of the original parts, you know, no new jets or anything like there, um, and for it to work so well, and I would say, I'm gonna say, it's actually running better than my uh, other built carb, okay? And that's the thing about these, you know, they're original. Um, there's all got slight differences, even if you build them how you're supposed to build them. It's, it'll be in, excuse me, it'll be in the accelerator pump. That's where the difference will be. My one's obviously not pumping just quite the same as this one. This must be blasting just that little bit better fuel ratio in there when you wham on the throttle. So it's um, got that pick up and go that the other one doesn't quite have. Still a very, very nice carburetor, but this one's perhaps just slightly different. So I'll take my one apart and have a look at it again and see what we can work out. But yeah, very nice. So to answer our question, is there any difference between a rebuilt carb, carefully rebuilt carb using original components or one using new old stock car to carburetor components? The answer is no, there is no difference. If anything, this one is running slightly better. Now, of course, guys, this doesn't mean you just take apart a worn out carburetor, clean it up, put it back together, and it'll work just the same as a new one. It, of course, means that we've had to look into this and make sure that it's all up to snuff, okay? You can look at the videos above again, you can see how we rebuilt this one, and obviously we haven't put worn out components in there, but there's no sort of magic difference between the new stuff and the old stuff, as long as it's all good. And especially, I would say, if you're just gonna take out old stuff for the sake of it and replace it with repro stuff, which could be in worse manufacturing tolerances or condition in comparison to the uh, original items, which may be perfect, you know, perfectly usable like this one, then don't do it because you could end up with an expensive mess and you could end up with a carburetor which isn't behaving itself. So the idea, as Carter said, is to make sure you're accurate. Be accurate when you rebuild these. And if you do, apparently you can bung it on and drive like a fool and it'll, <laughs> it'll be all right. But yeah, that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. That's Green Dot 319's Carter rebuild today. Pretty pleased with that, as you can probably tell. But um, yeah, I'll see you next time. We're gonna do some more carburetor playing with, but we're not gonna be using one of these. No, we are going to something a little bit more Gallic. Um, we'll have a look at that next, all right? Enjoy, cheers.